hi guys and welcome to this video so today is going to be a tutorial video It's not going to be a usual reaction video now you guys requested uh, I show you guys how to make reaction videos and I will definitely be showing you guys because I feel reaction videos is a good way to start up as a youtuber that's your new youtuber and you don't have an idea you don't know what you want to put out there but you know you want to start up a YouTube channel you want to gather an audience people who are like-minded people who have the same likes like you so I think reaction video is a good way to go because because from reaction videos the people who watch your reaction videos are definitely going to be people who like the very thing which you like so definitely hopefully you'll be making reaction videos to things which I like and so I'm going to be showing you guys this tutorial on the software editing software which I use and that is the Filmora editing software and this software is very awesome guys and you guys are going to see why as I go through all the tutorials so let's get to it so before we get to the tutorial video, I'd just like to remind you guys, in case you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button and hit that bell beside the subscription button to be notified every time I upload a video. I usually do reaction videos. I also try to do some motivational content. And now I have started this segment, which is going to be tutorial videos. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay guys, so let's go to our Filmora software. Okay, now we have to look for the video which we will be editing. I'll go to my computer. It's my hard drive called Tambe, a folder called new and the, the video name is 234. 234 is my lucky number. I'm going to tell you guys why someday. So I just carry it over to Filmora and yep and that's my video over doing Filmora. For me this is the easiest way to get my videos to Filmora but there are several other ways which you could use to get your videos to Filmora and um, I think I'll just show you guys some other things which you might want to know. If you want to start a new project, you go over there and get a new project. If you want to open a project which you had previously started and you're saved, that's where you go to. Um, if you want to import, I was, I was telling you guys there are several ways. You want to import the whole folder, you want to import just the, um, pic the picture or the video you go import from facebook you import from instagram flick your telephone your camera whatever medium in which you're using to in which your whatever place which your video was saved you could import okay so the first thing i usually start with is cutting off the unwanted section of my video so there i am so i put let me pause the video so um, Okay, as you see, it's so close, so I have to expand. So I go to the edge, the, that area at the edge, it helps me expand. So from there, I can actually see the waves and know exactly where to cut. I know that that's from that's where I start talking. So I delete the unwanted portion. Yeah, I think that's done. Okay, so I, I'm playing out the test and see. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, now I want to increase the volume. So I always put my volume at the maximum, which is 200. Okay. Guys, so since I'm teaching, majority of my audience probably don't understand French. So I think I should change it to English. I, I did that previously, but when I updated the software, it went back to French. Since my laptop is in French. So I'm just looking for where i did that i cannot really remember where i did that mm. no it's not over there mm. no it's not there uh, no no i think this should be it um. no no okay yeah uh, okay yeah parameter parameter which is setting so yeah okay that is lang language so it's in french so i'm to change it to english francais états unis wait okay okay so let's see we'll be changing anytime soon okay guys so now it's in english let's continue with our editing process um so now that's done i have i just want to play over again and just make sure the sound is good it's high enough now I, I, I want to be cutting 
because this is my introduction part so i'll be cutting where my waveline ends so as you guys can see where the waveline ends i cut from them so now let's go and download the video from youtube so um google chrome was already open so let's go to youtube then i open another tab where i go to dray down so since i usually i just want to check if my um because I'm using Filmera to record the screen, so I just want to check if it's recording. Okay, it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. It's good. Okay, so um, I'll go to Dre Down. Yeah, so you go to www.dreadown.com. There's a software there where you can download. So now I go to YouTube and I I browse and look for the video which I want to. Um, I've seen a notification there. Whenever I see your comments, I just like to read it immediately. Okay, I've seen a comment from Bob Jones. I am the only one that cries no matter how many times I watch this. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so let's say um So Young Oh Holy Night, that's what I'll be downloading. That's what I want to re that's what I reacted to. So young oh holy night. Okay. Yep, that's it. So young oh holy night. Okay guys, um there is it. Uh-huh. So it's opening. I don't want it to play. So I right click, I right click on the video itself, I right click, then I go to copy video URL. So then I go to drag down, click on YouTube, and say YouTube video. I paste. Then I click on Dre Down. Okay, there's several um, formats which have different sizes. So I'm going to take the 3GP, which is not the smallest, but not very large. So it's downloading. Okay, guys, so while it's downloading, let's continue the editing process. There are other things which we don't need the YouTube video for. Okay, first of all, I want to reduce the gap before I start the reaction. I don't want it to be a lot. So the the gap between my end of my the end of my introduction and uh, where the reaction begins, so I, I deleted it. Now I want to put in my intro, Brave Hard, XO, XO, XO. Okay, maybe so I drag and put. For some reason when I made my intro, I made it, there's, some, there's a lot of blank. So I cut it off, I don't want it to be, it was too long. When I made it, it was just too long. Okay. The next thing which we'll do is I'll put in transitions. So for between my intro and um, my verbal intro, between my silent intro and my verbal intro, I like to put in the erase transition. I don't want it to be too long, so I reduce it a little bit. I just drag and pull. okay i love it i love it okay so guys um our video is downloading as you can see that green you see where that green is so it's almost getting to the end so it's almost finishing so we just wait a while let the video finish and finish downloading so we could um put it in filmora so it's still downloading it's almost finishing we're almost there so what normally when it downloads it goes to download for me i don't know your computer might be different so download telechargement so that's in french um yeah or you could go this other way so okay yes finish downloading you click on that arrow and you go to um show in folder click on show in folder and it comes exactly where it's located it just comes out there so now my method which i told you guys you just drag over there carry it and just put it in filmora 
that's the easiest way I've seen okay now let's put our let's insert our reaction video now we are going to insert our reaction video in the layer below the original video so it's going to be an overlay okay so let's see i want to see where it starts where it begins so this is the most delicate part of this tutorial so it, it takes after i get this part i'm basically done to mash to make sure that, that there's no echo to mash the sound when i was recording the video when i was watching it and the original video yeah to match it that takes the highest time in my editing process if that is short then the editing process will be short okay now i would like i want to reduce the volume of the overlay so that it doesn't overshadow the original the original video okay so let's see I want to increase it so I'm going to see the exact wavelength and it's going to be exact. I'll carry it in front because I'm getting some echo. I'll carry it again in front. I'm getting some echo. Play. Let's see. Yeah, listen. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. okay i think it's perfect it's okay it's okay now so like i told you guys after this is done i'm basically done with the editing process i'm just right now what i'm doing is just adding complementing things because i just love to be creative and add more things to my videos if not i could basically just export it like this and put it online and i'm done with editing so now what i want to do is add the complimenting things now um i didn't watch till the end of the video because after she finished singing i was basically done watching so i'm going to trace where i stop watching and cut off so I'm so moved by Soya. Okay, when this guy started talking, I basically stopped watching. So let's see. I want to cut that. Cut. Yep. Um, yeah. Delete. Good. So. So yeah. So we're almost finishing guys, we're almost getting to the end of the editing process. The rest of this one is, like I said, it's just basically me adding, putting some flavor, adding some maggie and some salt bird. Basically, you're basically finished with creating your reaction video. You can basically just export it like this and put it online. But I, like I said, I just love to put in other things. Okay guys, so what I want to do now is add like the pre-intro so i always like to start my videos with like i feel like the climax of my reaction that gets people to stay on and watch the video that's the little trick which i play so um so i think that's my climax point where i was just so moved by so young i always close my eyes when i'm so moved so that one i will be um cutting that where my climax ends and uh I'll be putting it in front before the video even starts so immediately so I'll also cut the overlay so that way when I copy the both the video and the overlay copies that's the awesome thing about Femora the video and the overlay once you have put them together Femora knows that everywhere they go they go together so paste so as you can see the video and the overlay paste there so you don't even need to like touch both to show Femora that this is what you have to do Femora just knows they go together which i think is really really awesome so yeah 
so i'm sure as i've been going on you have been seeing so many reasons why i love filmora but i think that's one of the reasons which i would just love to highlight and tell you guys like filmora is awesome i've used several editing softwares and um they have all been awesome but filmora like it's my favorite okay okay guys so i feel like this intro is too long so i just want to cut off the beginning so like I want to take it just exactly where my climax was like in the peak so uh-huh yeah so you see as I deleted the video I made sure I cut the overlay so the video went with the overlay like I said just so awesome okay so um yeah I think it's okay Whenever I want to delay, I always try to expand so I get it exactly at the wavelength. So 19 seconds, yeah, it's, I think it's okay. Okay, so yeah, I think we're almost getting to the end, guys. I just love to play again to see how the flow goes, which I think is important, guys, because sometimes when I have exported without playing to see how the flow goes, and then I realize I made a mistake, so I have to go back and correct that mistake then export again which takes time so it's always important to test it and before you export finally so guys let's put in our transitions let's continue the transition process so um i'll, I'll have to fade I'll put fade over there i'll put um fade yeah over there too so it kind of fades and becomes black before getting to the next scene yeah. the next thing we'll do guys we'll put in um songs so the song which i usually use is from young and bright the uh, folder young and bright and um it's it's called light on the gold show so filmora has free music which you can use which um you will not have any copyright issue and which adds the life to your video so that's another awesome thing about filmora there a lot of music guys so much okay so yeah i want to i'll reduce the volume by the time i start speaking yeah so guys like i said we're basically done if you are done watching and you already have the idea you're basically done with uh making of your reaction video at this point all you're doing you're just complimenting and spicing it up and uh, yeah so basically that's what i'm doing so guys if you have noticed from the way i talk you will notice i'm not really that kind of um i would say i'm not very versed in all the technical languages when it comes to software but i i'd love to say i at least i know what i'm doing so i just to tell you guys that no matter who you are and you feel like oh i don't really know much about technology or whatever computer stuff you could easily use filmora this is this is the editing software for beginners guys it's so good um uh, yeah so i'm making my end screen so I just go to the sample colors I get the two sample colors I put one as the video and I, in this video section I put one in the overlay section and I want to add my text so the text I usually use is Lauren Ibsen there are several Lauren Ibsen text so I yeah I'm tied to 27 that's what I usually use I love the way it flows in the screen so now i want to modify my text guys there are several things you can do with filmora there's split screen and other things which you could do with filmora if you guys request i could do like a general introduction video of filmora so i love the yellow color i'm modifying my text now i love fan sound text so um yeah that's what i usually use now i press ctrl a to copy everything and delete so subscribe uh, and subscribe for daily uploads okay there we go the 
okay so one thing about filmora is you don't need to reduce the font i don't need to change it it's now at 78 you don't need to change it you can just um expand or you compress to fit in the frame which you want it to fit in which i think is a, a very awesome thing about filmora because you have other editing softwares where you have to reduce the font size and it becomes so small you don't know exact one which will fit the frame with filmora you see how it flows i love it i love it i love it so yeah but then i'll i'll love to increase the the length okay transition let's put in transition there so i love it to fade out the video should fade out and uh, oh um so i forgot to remove the unwanted part of the video at the end okay yeah that's why i say goodbye Kurt, and delete good now let's put in our transition let's fade out okay good perfect i love it now i think we should try erase let it erase erase good that i, I thought it's better it's better okay now guys i would love to um okay guys so i think the volume is too high and because my voice reduces towards the end and you guys complained in one of the videos that you guys want to hear what i was saying towards the end so i reduce the volume to six at the end okay i think that's fine okay now let's look at this ending part and uh, once the video ends i always like to expand so it, it makes it to be exact you end the song exactly where you want it to end so i'll increase the volume when i go to the end screen so um, I'll increase the 30. Yeah, it's good. Okay, guys. So I think I should increase the length of my end screen. It's just too short. So increase it. You increase the overlay. I'll increase the text to the duration. There we go. Good, good job. Now, cut the music. Yep, and delete. Okay, guys, so I think we're basically finished. So I just want to test. Like I said, I always love to test because I have had that. I've fallen in that trap. I've made that mistake of not testing and exporting, and then it's not okay. So I always love to test. So let's okay guys so um i would want to just show you guys an additional function um which i don't use in all my videos but for just showing sake i'm going to add this where i'm going to put an element so you can see there are several elements which you could put and i've not even downloaded all bird i've downloaded a lot yeah so many guys so i'm going to use the thumbs up so by the time i say thumbs up i want something to appear on the screen so let's look for the thumbs up no not that thumbs up i don't like that thumbs up the white i want the thumbs up which is just a thumb with no background mm, okay yeah that's it okay yes yeah, so that's exactly so i love to expand when i'm doing this kind of thing i am adding an element or adding music or whatever overlay i love to expand the video that way you get the exact point yeah so that's what i want yeah i love it i love it i love it so when i'm saying thumbs up yeah that's good so you put it in the position where you put overlay so I, yeah that's perfect guys so i think we are basically done here so like i said if you guys want me to do like a tutorial where i show you guys like every component or every trick i've learned from filmora i'll be happy to do it and so you guys should put it in the request below and um, yeah i think we're basically done here let's export our video mm -hmm. okay so let's change the name there mm -hmm. so young holy so i don't put the whole thing like it's just because of this video i'm even putting up to so young holy usually i put like three letters which i try to remember okay
okay so it usually takes time to start the exporting process but basically guys that's it it's going to start exporting what message is this voulez-vous changer le jour de couleur pour améliorer le performance window a detecting but don't you you prefer ça plus tard okay um okay okay yeah the exposing process has started guys so that is it guys that has brought us to the end of our tutorial video i hope you learned something and if you watched till the end i hope you you didn't waste your time and yeah so thank you guys for watching to the end and thank you guys for giving the opportunity to teach you guys and thumbs up to the video if this tutorial was helpful to you and i hope to check out your reaction channel soon so whenever you start your reaction channel put it in the comment below i would definitely love to go check it out and i'll be happy to know i helped you start this journey of yours so tell me this video like i said subscribe to my channel and leave your request below on other softwares you would love me to show you guys how to use if i can use them and uh, if i can use them i'll definitely be showing you guys how to use them if not i might go and check them out if it's easy to understand i would definitely make a tutorial video telling you guys if not then i would will not be able to make it but either ways leave your request below once more thank you again for watching and see you guys later bye bye